Oh, by the way, welcome back. <laughs> You've heard of summer driving season, but have you heard of summer scooter season? And having a scooter in the city, it can mean freedom, time savings, and adventure. Our next guest says you can even save thousands of dollars on gas money this summer just by joining the tribe of scooter enthusiasts in the D.C. area. She's lifestyle blogger Darcy Tharp. Welcome back to Great Day Washington, Darcy. Thank you, Marquette. Happy to be here. And as a proud scooter owner for 10 years, I'm thrilled to share my love of scootering with, with you all. And I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to Naveed from College Scooters, just right outside the D.C. line for bringing us this beautiful array of scooters. They look so great. They look like ice cream flavors. Look at them. <laughs> They're great colors. Where do these colors come from? I know, right? I think it's just this brand gives these gorgeous colors, so that makes it all the more fun to have it. But and they taste great, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, even better than the colors is the savings. Tell me about how you can save on gas money, parking, and all that good stuff just by trading your car in for a scooter. Exactly. Well, there's so many reasons to have a scooter, but money is, of course, the biggest one. And so I, I crunch the numbers a little bit, and most people drive cars, and so you can estimate that with gas, insurance, and parking, you could be spending anywhere $400 to $500 a month just in all your car expenses. And then I looked at public transportation. P people that take the metro to and from work, and especially in rush hour times, I mean, you're spending over $100 yeah, just on the metro. Okay, <laughs> easy there, lot. brother, this, easy this there, brother. Good. But then, so how much are you spending on a scooter, say, if Chris wants to um, <laughs> trade in his Maserati for one of these? Oh, well, he should, <laughs> number one. Wish. But a scooter gets between 90 and 100 miles per gallon, and Whoa. there's just a little more than a gallon in the tank. And I drive it everywhere, I mean, to and from work and for fun on the weekends, and I'm only spending 3 to $4. I mean, I even fill it up with premium. 3 wow. to $4 a, a week. A week? Yes. So fifteen dollars a month, that? about that. right. And can you park this on the sidewalk? I see them a lot in D.C. So do you? You don't have to pay the meters. No, not at all. So here's the thing: when you arrive at your destination, yes. not only did you get there faster because you didn't have to sit in traffic, you didn't have to wait for the metro train, which we've all been there, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but you just get to pull up like a VIP, and you can park anywhere on the sidewalk, and you just can use the chain in the back of the scooter. You can put it underneath the seat, pull it out. It takes about two minutes just to lock it up oh, to that's anything awesome. that's there. Are you sold? I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, because right there. It's like he's getting comfortable on yeah, this thing it here. Is, it is actually comfortable. I wasn't, I wasn't looking for it to be comfortable, but it is kind of soft and, and kind of cushy. Is it different? What, what are the differences between owning this and operating this as opposed to a car? Well, uh, just your operating expenses, first of all. Well, the of course, expenses, just, but I mean, obviously in rain, it's a little bit different, right? You, you have to get the, the rain wear. But yes, you can still well, hit it. You can still go, right? Oh, for sure. That's one of my most frequently asked questions is people will say, you know, what do you wear and what do you do when it rains? Do you drive in the cold? And most people think it is just for the summer, but I oh. think it's an almost year-round thing. So I drive in the rain. I just put a little poncho on and, you know, if it's not coming down I too hard. I love that. The that's you it. and a poncho <laughs> driving. Down. Now, this one looks like it has some accessories that would help you out when the weather changes or you have, like, your work bag or, or grocery bag, like I'm seeing here. Exactly. Well, so the thing is, not only is it fun, but normally freedom and fun don't go along with practicality but in this not. case it does wow. so it's got ample storage space so I often will put a bag either your briefcase or groceries right in the front there and besides that the seat magically pops up <gasps> oh, <laughs> what nice. magic. you have your purse in there so yes you can your lock and chain actually fit in here but then you can put a purse put other groceries in here and that's not all you can put a smaller scooter in there <laughs> exactly yeah, you and your poncho you can fit in there too <laughs> yeah the you need that poncho right and then you have the trunk and i would highly recommend everyone get one it's just a couple extra hundred dollars when you purchase the scooter, oh, yes, and it's so worth it because it fits perfect your helmet. Yeah. Yeah, let me see that. <laughs> you can, can put me? your Memorial Day uh, potluck covered dish in there. Exactly. So you got the helmet. Uh -oh. <laughs> he's getting into. Perfect. He's joining the tribe here. That works. Yeah, that I like it. Oh you my that. goodness. There you go. Oh, and there's you your love shield this. for your bugs and everything. I love it. This even has Bye, a Bluetooth citizen. for your phone, guys. It does. <laughs> you, okay, but we're not encouraging talking on the phone. Now I also see something over here. It looks like it's covered up for weather or what's that so this is a great lap blanket which after seeing this I don't actually have one myself That's a good idea that it keeps you your legs warm oh so nice. I've discovered a temperature for myself so 40 degrees and above I drive and I just that's kind of what I discovered even when I bundled up but that could even help me drive in even colder weather so. how, how fast do these things go 
So a 50 cc goes up to 48 miles okay. per hour, and that's great for the city. It's all you yeah. need. I actually have a 125 cc, so Boom. it goes a little faster, but it's good for passengers. So you can carry you know, your significant other or and friend. And I read they and even go up the to city. 150 cc. Like maybe you live out in College Park or Clarendon, you need to get over a bridge with those cars. You want something with a little more power. Exactly, and you know that's even when the windshield comes in handy and this is really great for the wind because if you are going on GW Parkway or kind of going out of the city that's going to help a lot to this, not get that wind in your I face. I'm thinking a down payment on a car is like what two three thousand dollars how much do these run? Um, anywhere between two and three thousand dollars. Let's get wow. And that's Thank including you so your accessories and everything. Awesome. Thank you so much, Darcy. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to join the Scootin' Tribe. And while scooting around D.C., it's super fun. We've got an indoor activity that has D.C. 